Moon Knight. Today we are creating a Moon Knight cake. I'm excited about this, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Oscar Isaac and today we are creating a Moon Knight cake. I'm really excited about creating this cake because he's wearing a mask. I don't have to create a nose or a mouth. I just gotta create something that looks like papyrus. Just like fabric all over his face. So the lazy part of me is super excited, but also the Marvel side of me is ecstatic because this series looks really good. And I've also fallen in love with making these like head sculpts. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going Going to do is build my cake stand. So I'm using PVC pipe and I'm using styrofoam to create the bottom half of my cake. So that way I don't have to throw away that much cake. I'm only going to be throwing away about like two, two and a half layers maybe. I'm going to try to eat some but can't finish all of it. So to create this cake I am starting with a black and white marble cake that I created. I asked you guys on TikTok if you knew what I was making and you guessed right. Also the music probably gave it away because I was playing the music that was in the trailer. And I'm gonna add buttercream in between my layers and then I'm going to add a eight inch half dome cake on top. I cut my half dome cake into two layers so that I could add buttercream in between and give this some height. Just in case I need a little more to create Batman's Batman. What? Create Moon Knight's hood. Just smooth that out and add my top layer of cake. There we go, there we go. So my cakes are stacked, it's time to start carving and I think this is gonna be a pretty easy carve because I don't have to do any features. So wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> but I still have to keep in mind the hood and make sure that I give this enough height, give this enough volume so that I'm not just filling in gaps with buttercream. Gosh, so this is the, this is my sculpt. Terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, this makes me look like such an amateur. <laughs> if I had to guess what this was gonna be, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, a garbage pail kid maybe? That's pretty close. So I don't have to make a whole face. So when I was sculpting this cake, I basically just worried about making sure that I had enough cake to create his hood. And I left a ton of volume on the side so that I have enough to make the hood here. I'm probably gonna use fondant to create the front of the hood and like the bottom. I could do it with buttercream. Nah, I'm not doing it with buttercream. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is give this a crumb coat and try to hide how terrible it looks. Then I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it set up, and cover it with Moon Knight Gray Buttercream. This gray looks so devoid of color, it looks like cement. <laughs> Felt like I was just like spackling a wall. So this is the Moon Knight cake so far. I covered it with buttercream. I started to define where his eyes are, where the bottom of the mask is. Bottom of the hood is gonna be made with fondant. And I'm just gonna do what I do normally and blend it into the rest of the buttercream. But now that my buttercream is solidified, it's time to start sculpting his face. So when I was sculpting this cake, the first thing I sculpted was the egg-shaped top of his hood, which is pretty easy. The hardest part about sculpting this cake was creating his eyes. I really wanted wanted him to have a menacing look, so I spent a lot of time just crafting his brow bone. After that, I cut two holes into the front of his face so that I can insert some gumball eyes, and then I just surrounded them with buttercream so that I can blend it into the rest of the cake and make it look like island. He's wearing a mask. He's wearing almost a full mask. So those were the only human elements I had to create. After that, it was all about working with fondant. Now I know this is supposed to be a buttercream cake and probably like 80% of it is, but I have created fondant mummy cakes before. So I knew that the simplest solution to creating like the wrapped face cover would be to use fondant. It was supposed to be buttercream, but after I thought about it, it just felt like a waste of time and probably saved myself like a good hour. Now the last thing I did with fondant was create the bottom of his hood. I wrapped this very long piece of fondant around the bottom of the cake and just used buttercream like glue. <laughs> I felt like I was in like kindergarten. After that, it was time to finish this with some buttercream paint. I just used darker gray buttercream to give this more depth. Break up a little bit of this like very monochromatic look. Dirty him up a little bit and just make the hood look hollow. And voila, my Moon Knight cake is complete. What do you think? 
eyes. I really do love how menacing his eyes look. It takes so long to create the eyelids, but it's worth it. Now, someone commented that they think that this looks like clay, and I totally agree. Now, to me, the most miraculous thing about this cake is that you can't tell the difference between the fondant parts of the cake and the buttercream. I matched the color so well that you can't tell. And he looks like Shredder and Ermac. And with like little tweaks, I can totally make Sub-Zero and Scorpion. The next two cakes that I'm gonna be working on are Anna Delvey and the Queen from Bridgerton. Imagine that like hairdo with buttercream. Oh my gosh, spectacular. I'm curious, what cakes would you like to see me create next? And what did you think about the first episode of Moon Knight? I loved it, but I heard mixed things about the next few episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your ideas in the comments. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Now to create my Moon Knight cake, I'm using a 10 inch round cake and a 10 inch half dome cake. I'm adding buttercream in between my layers and then I'm carving it. I gotta tell you, this carve is terrible. It just looks like amateur hour. How long have you been making cakes? Three hours? What is this? But it did its job because all of the details are gonna be made with buttercream. So all I really needed to do was use the cake to create the top of the hood. After that, I just covered my cake with a crumb coat and then I moved on to the next step. Now for my Moon Knight cake, I covered it with like this light gray buttercream and you guys thought it was clay? And you know what? It felt like clay. Clay or cement. After I put my buttercreamed cake in the fridge and took it out, it looked like I just like stuccoed a wall or something. But that's the color of Moon Knight, so I guess that's how it's supposed to look. Now once it was covered, it was time to sculpt. Sculpting this cake for the most part was pretty easy. Top of it was just like this oval egg shape and his mouth is supposed to be like covered in like fabric. I don't have to sculpt his lips or his nose. The only thing I really had to worry about were his eyes. So I spent a lot of time making sure he had like this menacing look. I think most of my time was spent on that. And this cake has fondant. Now, initially I was gonna make all of like the bandage details with buttercream, but I've worked with fondant before and I've created like mummy cakes. So I knew that the easiest way to get his face covering done was with fondant. So I rolled out super thin strips of fondant and then just applied them to the front. Using fondant to create these bandages saved me so much time. Now to finish my Moon Knight hood, I used fondant and this felt like such an art project. It felt like I was working with paper mache. Just using buttercream to glue the fondant to the bottom of the hood. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out, but blending the fondant into the buttercream, it just, you don't, you can't tell. You don't know where the fondant begins and the buttercream ends. Although if I were to do this again, I'd probably approach it a different way. After I blended my fondant into the buttercream, it was time to just paint. I just tried to add depth and shadow with different shades of gray buttercream. And when I was happy with my results, my Moon Eye cake was complete. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute. Wow, you look like a superhero. You look like a cute superhero. <laughs> You're so stupid.